our boys and girls of grade five, and welcome to our first English language past paper review. Today, in preparation for our upcoming examinations, we will be looking at past paper questions. However, for the series of these reviews, we will be taking each section topic by topic. So for today, we will be zooming in on questions that are based on punctuation. If you haven't looked at the videos on punctuation, commas part one and two, I suggest that you do so. I know for sure that while looking at these videos, you will be able to learn a lot of information. However, boys and girls, let us zoom in on these questions. We will be looking at them year by year, question by question. So let's go. In the 2020 National Grade 6 Assessment English Past Paper, at numbers 24 and 25, we saw questions geared at punctuation. This was the instruction. Choose the sentence in which the comma is correctly used. Boys and girls, remember that commas are separators. For the purposes of these questions, we have to choose the sentence in which the comma is correctly used. In the first one, we have options A to D. The first one reads, if you join the reading club, comma, you can win stickers, pencils, and books. B, if you join the reading club, you can win stickers, comma, pencils, and books. C, if you join the reading club, comma, you can win stickers, comma, pencils, and books. And D, if you join the reading club, comma, you can win, comma, stickers, comma, pencils, and books. more than likely our correct answer for this question is C. If you join the reading club, comma, you can win stickers, comma, pencils, and books. At number 25, we must examine the options to see where the comma is correctly placed. Our sentence reads, we should watch the parade from Regent Street, Ralph suggested. answer for this question would be B. We should watch the parade from Regent Street, comma, Ralph suggested. In 2019, there were questions also about punctuation. The instruction read, choose the sentence that shows the correct use of punctuation marks. Number 20, the sentence read, I took Pat the girl with the scar to the movies last night. For number 20, the correct answer would be A because the commas separate the opposition in the sentence. So, it would be correct to write, I took Pat, comma, the girl with the scar, comma, to the movies last night. Number 21. The correct answer in relation to the correct use of punctuation marks for number 21 would be A. Let us eat now, Granny, 
exclamation mark, close quotation, shouted Jane with excitement. Also, in 2019, there were further questions about punctuation. At numbers 22 to 24, we were asked to choose the underlying word that should begin with a capital letter. Remember, boys and girls, the capital letters are used where we refer to proper nouns. So let's check them out. At number 22, the sentence read, one went to visit his grandfather last Good Friday. From the options A to D, we are required to choose the word that should be capitalized. boys and girls, Good Friday is the name of a proper noun, a national holiday, and therefore D, Friday, should have been capitalized. Number 23, my teacher, Mrs. Gray, wrote a letter outlining the reason for the missing book. From options A to D, the best choice would be Gray, the name of a person should be capitalized. Therefore, at B, G should have been a capital letter. 24. Rajiv, the coach of the cricket team, Warriors, requested gear for his players. A to D, again, is asking us to choose the word that should have a capital letter. definitely be C since Warriors refers to the name of the cricket team, a proper noun that should have begun with a capital W. So let's move on. In the year 2018, at numbers 23 to 26, we saw questions once again coming on punctuation. This was the instruction. Choose the most appropriate punctuation mark to complete each sentence. Number 23. Are you coming to my sleepover this weekend? The space indicates where the punctuation mark should be. Our options are A question mark, B full stop, C exclamation mark, and D comma. Since we're referring to an interrogative sentence, that is, a question, the best answer would be question mark to place at the end of that sentence. 24. Help! shouted the little girl as the stranger entered the yard. We need a punctuation mark right after help. Our options are open single quote, B full stop, C exclamation mark, and D question mark. I'm sure 
you are thinking that the answer is C, an exclamation mark. And you're definitely correct, since help is an interjection referring to a word that expresses a strong feeling or emotion. 25, we were asked to choose the sentence in which the apostrophe is correctly used. If you remember, we use apostrophe when we are forming our possessive nouns. So let's look at the options. A to D. The sentence read, he heard his mother's voice and stopped crying. Boys and girls, the sentence in which the apostrophe is used correctly would be A. He heard his mother's M O T H E R apostrophe S voice and stopped crying. 26. Choose the sentence in which capital letters are correctly used. A. A teacher wrote a letter to my father. B. Linden is a town that is found in Guyana. C. Paula and Amy are my very close friends. And D. My sister visited a Chinese restaurant yesterday. Surely, our answer would be B. Linden is a town that is found in Guyana. Here, the proper nouns Linden and Guyana have been correctly capitalized. But if we look at A, we would see that there are capital letters in places that they should not be. For example, letter and father need not be capitalized. At C, the proper noun Amy does not have a capital letter. And D, the proper adjective Chinese also did not begin with capital C. So again, our answer would be B. So let's move on. We're in the year 2017. And in this past paper, questions again from numbers 24 to 26 access questions geared towards punctuation. Let's take a look at what we were asked. The instruction had read, choose the sentence in which punctuation marks are correctly used. Boys and girls, if you notice, there seems to be a pattern in the structure of questions geared at punctuation marks. In most instances, you are being asked to look at the sentences where these marks are being correctly used. Let's look at number 24. The sentence read, he painted the dog's house. Here, more than likely, we're looking to see where the apostrophe has been correctly used. Our option and best choice would be... painted the dog's D-O-G apostrophe S house. Number 25. Here, we seem to be looking for the correct use of commas. I'm sure you're acquainted with those. The sentence read, We picked apples, cherries, grapes, and oranges from the trees in the orchard.
girls, if you're thinking along the lines of C, you are correct. So your answer would be, we picked apples, comma, cherries, comma, grapes, and oranges from the trees in your chart. Let's look at number 26. At options A to D, the sentence reads, David asks, where are you going today? Most definitely here, we will be looking for the correct use of quotation marks, the question mark, and the comma. Boys and girls, the best option would be A. David asked, comma, open quotation, where are you going today, question mark, close quotation marks. Similarly, as I said, the structure of these questions seem to be following a pattern. Again, we are asked to choose the sentence in which the punctuation marks are correctly used. At number 26, the question read, how much does that lovely dress cost? Likely, I'm sure you're thinking that the correct answer is B. How much does that lovely dress cost? Question mark. Let's go on to 27. The sentence from A to D read, Someone stole my new iPad, Sita cried. Again, we're looking out for the correct use of quotation marks, the comma, and the exclamation mark. Therefore, boys and girls, B would be the correct answer where open quotation marks someone stole my new ipad exclamation mark close quotation marks sita cried full stop would be our correct answer 28 johnny will you please close the door what do you think is the answer for this question If you are thinking that it is C, Johnny, comma, will you please close the door, full stop, then you are on your way to excellence. Let's move on to 29. The children's clothes were left outside on the line. Boys and girls, here we're looking for the correct use of the apostrophe. Children is the owner of the clothes and therefore apostrophe s should follow so boys and girls the best option would be A, the children's C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N apostrophe S clothes were left outside on the line. 2015, 
In this year, the instruction for punctuation read, in questions 14 to 16, identify the sentence in each group that is correctly punctuated. Boys and girls, here we're being asked the same thing as in the previous years, but the instruction is worded differently. So, basically, we're being asked to look out for where punctuation marks are correctly used. Let's look at number 14. The sentence read from options A through D. Are you going to the concert? Joan asked. this question would be B. Open quotation marks. Are you going to the concert? Question mark. Close quotation marks. Joan asked. Full stop. Number 15. The sentence read, the islands of the Caribbean are all beautiful and fertile. If we're looking out for the correct punctuation, then our answer would be would be C. The islands of the Caribbean are all beautiful and fertile, full stop. Number 16. Have you ever read the delightful book, Sprat Morrison? So boys and girls, I'm sure that you're thinking that the answer for this question would be... Have you ever read that delightful book, comma, Sprat Morrison, question mark? So boys and girls, we looked at quite a few questions from varying years based on punctuation. However, boys and girls, in preparation for your upcoming examinations, I would like to leave a study tip with you. This study tip is geared towards your paper one in English language. And it says, read the entire question. Now I know boys and girls, sometimes you're excited that you might know what the correct answer is. However, it is important as a tip and trick when answering multiple choice questions that you read the entire question. Reading a multiple choice in its entirety before glancing over the answer options is very important. Pupils often think they know what a question is, asking before reading it, and jump straight to the most logical answer. This sometimes is a big mistake and can cost you dearly on multiple choice exams. So. Read each question thoroughly before reviewing your answer options. So pupils, I hope you were able to note the structure and possible answers for examination questions on punctuation. Be sure to rewatch the videos done on punctuation to bring clarity to this concept. Please continue to be diligent and work feverishly to apply good study habits and patterns. Do remember that William Arthur Ward said, study while others are sleeping, work while others are loafing, prepare while others are playing, and dream 
while others are wishing. It is at this time I will say goodbye until we meet again.